Good Friday afternoon, or good Friday morning, I guess I should say, everybody. A little bit on the early side for afternoon just yet, but we are coming close to that. As you notice in the clock up above, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, on Good Friday 2017. Down here in the lower left-hand corner, for those of you watching on Periscope or Twitter, we're also live on Google Plus and YouTube as well. If you'd like to find out more about the forecast, again, currently looking at temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s in the bar right here. Today's forecast forecast highs back in about the mid 80s or so with some occasionally breezy southerly winds not doing too bad and then also tonight temperatures back in the mid 60s out there uh, mass feller hello from Colorado I was born out in that area around uh, Colorado Springs believe it or not so welcome to the show if you have any questions or concerns email me at austin.onic at wreg.com and we'll bring you more about the complete forecast into the weekend I'll be on for News Channel 3's Todd Demers coming up here at noon in a little bit less than 15 minutes so stay tuned for more on that. Also, more available on all these social media platforms. So if you'd like to know more about what's going on out there, just, again, let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com for more. Let's go ahead and take a look around and see what's going on throughout the Mid-South right now. It's mostly cloudy. You're going to be expecting more sunshine into the rest of the day today, but it looks like for right now we're probably going to be seeing, again, the possibility of more in the way of actual just cloud cover out there. Winds occasionally breezy, but not doing too bad out of the south at about six miles per hour or so and temperatures should be rising pretty rapidly over the next several hours getting back into the mid 80s for high temperatures across much of the area winds may pick up a little bit as we go toward rush hour this evening and as an added bonus there might be the possibility of a few scattered showers out across the mid-south maybe even a rumble of thunder most of that should be west of the mississippi river as we get into the rest of the afternoon so we'll keep our eyes on that over the rest of the day today currently looking at temperatures approaching 80 degrees we've got a heat index out there. Yeah, it's time to start talking about that again in the mid to upper 70s around Germantown. Kind of hazy skies out across the area and humidity is up there but not quite as bad as it could be. About 52% looking over the water tower and back toward the towers of East Memphis around I-240 and Poplar there. Heading into the rest of the day today. Give me one quick second here while I get everybody uh, into the frame and getting... Hang on just one second here. Got to move this stuff up by just a little bit at the computer yeah, unfortunately, getting a little cranky here. This is live netcasting, and unfortunately, the settings change from time to time. So let me just take one second here and move everybody up. That's not what I want, and that's not what I asked for. Okay, well, this type of stuff happens. Sorry about this. Just bear with me. Anyway, I'll blather on about the forecast while I'm trying to <coughs> improve what we're seeing here uh, on the maps. We're seeing, again, the possibility of maybe, again, some more areas of showers and thunderstorms popping up throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So we'll continue, again, to see the possibility of more areas of showers and thunderstorms out there throughout the day. So if you have any plans for outdoors today, this is where we're going to be seeing, again, the possible problems. And it looks like the computer's not going to be agreeing with me, and we only have a limited amount of time, so this is where we'll be going onwards uh, from there. This is, again, the possibility of seeing more chances of showers and thunderstorms today in the green shaded areas on screen. Apologies for that, but it looks like we're just not going to be uh, getting any cooperation from the computer at this time. Let's see, is that the right one? Let's try that. There we go. Nope, still not reacting. Okay, serves me right. Should have restarted the computer before I got going on this. Sorry about that, fellows. Everybody and, and gals out there as well. Temperatures back into around the lower to mid 80s across much of the Mid-South area throughout the course of the rest of the day today. We'll continue again. Ah, there we go. That makes so much more sense. Numbers again throughout the rest of the day back in the lower to mid 80s, but where you see these green colors on screen, that's where we see again the possibility of maybe some more scattered showers throughout the rest of the afternoon. So outdoor activities, a lot of people offer a good Friday for the Easter holiday weekend. And if you're heading out to the park or anything like that, this is where you may see, again, some isolated showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the afternoon. But notice how they dwindle through about dinner time tonight. There's really not that much left over out there. And that's why in the forecast bar, way over on the right-hand side of the screen, you see that 10% chance out there. It's not much, but it is some, anyway, for the possibility of rain. By News Channel 3 at 10 tonight, Jim Jagger's on with your complete week-ending forecast. We'll be back in the lower 70s. And then getting into around the area of early tomorrow morning 
that's where we see the numbers again back in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s so not doing too bad on the numbers out there we'll get into the upper 70s by the time we hit about midday tomorrow and there will be more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way as we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow so expecting the possibility of a few stray rumbles of thunder out there as well so please keep that in mind and as we go throughout the rest of the weekend toward evening without the daytime heating to pop things up we'll be looking at temperatures very much uh, mild tomorrow evening and also a chance of showers and thunderstorms off and on severe threat today is way off to our west it's into the great plain states down into the panhandles not seeing much of anything for our area that gets a little bit closer to us as we get into tomorrow from st joseph missouri down to around amarillo texas that's where we see the potential of some stronger thunderstorms coming on through and then for sunday there is the possibility of seeing some marginal sort of threat for severe weather just to our north back up around the boot heel extreme northwestern tennessee and northeastern arkansas that can be a bit of a problem and into the rest of the mid-south this is where we're seeing again the possibility that gray sort of light green shaded area that you see there that's where we just get a generic threat of thunderstorms so chances of thunderstorms stair stepping upwards over the course of the next several days and that could be a problem right on into this afternoon and this evening. So this afternoon's forecast, a few rumbles of thunder, very warm, kind of breezy at times, but not doing too bad. Tomorrow, a few clouds starting things off, high temperatures back in the lower 80s after highs. It highs in the lower 80s, lows back in the lower 60s, and then getting into around the big day itself on Easter Sunday. Could be the possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Unfortunately for sunrise services on Easter, there may not be too much sun for the sunrise out there and may even be a rumble of thunder or two. So you may want to plan on taking that umbrella to the sunrise services. Rest of the week sees isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms out and about, but nothing really major taking place at this time. So good news on that. But uh, we'll be watching that throughout the course of the next couple of days. Don't forget to download our brand new News Channel 3 weather app. It's available at whatever platform you've got at WRE. G weather just search for that term right there and that'll give you more information about what to download and how to do it and don't forget to tune in for my forecast available throughout the weekend on the east arkansas broadcast network country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 tons of information there and on all these social media networks as well which you can see over here or up there and also don't forget about wreg.com slash weather i'm meteorologist austin onick live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee at the wreg tv news channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 at noon with yours truly. Tim and Jim have your forecast tonight starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 and then we'll have more information for you coming up throughout the weekend. Again, I'll be on with all kinds of information, so stay tuned for more on that. Thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a lot more starting on News Channel 3 at noon coming up later today. Thanks for joining us.